Oh, here he comes with some zebras. So hopefully we won't have to like upgrade or anything. Uh, we did. Oh shit. Yo, what is up guys? Boltrix here back with a brand new video and today guys We're gonna be playing some ceramic crucible. So let's hop right into it dudes I have not uploaded in like four or five days. So I do apologize I've just been you know taking a little mini break from YouTube I guess and by the way we hit 22,000 subscribers and I'm gaining like subscribers like crazy and I haven't been uploading It's insane. So thank you for all the support if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the channel I promise you you won't freaking regret it. And also, guys, I do live streams all the time over on twitch.tv slash boltrix7. So if you would want to join in on the live streams, you're more than welcome to. We do tournaments all the time, so you can play against me, potentially. You can talk to me in chat as well. I always like to reach out. I just really appreciate interacting with you guys because you guys are the reason why I'm in this position today. So if you want to, like I said, more than welcome. We are going to be randomizing for today's video because it is CC, even though this guy looks pretty decent, although he does not have too many medallions, which is a good thing. We got the map, Mountain Pass as well. Nope, never mind. Okay, so he did skip it. Hydro Dam. Can we actually, let me see. Okay, yeah. Can we randomize into farm strategies? Because I might do that instead. Uh, we're going to skip Hydro Dam though, because we have a low chance of randomizing into a good strat for that map. So we got now the map riverside so yeah i'm just gonna pick the farm and see if i can randomize oh no i can't fuck all right that's fine so i guess we're just going to be randomizing today um i probably will end up using my forts as well up uh, if they're pretty good so we got the strategy tack spike factory village and cobra i think i'm gonna cobra this guy i think this is the move boys so let's get up our cobras i'm gonna get up two cobras and this is the only time I ever use my fort, by the way. So you can't yell at me, okay? It's fine. I'm randomizing, goddammit, okay? So, of course, we're going to be echoing uh, with going with the Cobra. And a lot of people actually are interested in me using Cobra. I can show you guys how I personally use Cobra uh, because it's not too bad of a strategy. It's just that good players, it, it's not too hard for them to defend against it. Uh, the balloon adjustment and everything. So that's why I personally don't use it very much. But against this guy, I feel like we can definitely get a easy dub and he did just glue storm all those reds i sent him uh, <laughs> okay so because he wanted to greed for that plantation i guess that's fine we're gonna get up a third cobra actually as well uh with um the wired funds on it so we get some more money coming in but we're just gonna keep three okay we're gonna keep three until like round 11 round 12 when we start building up more of course to get more money coming in but for now, we're just going to continue to eco. He did once again glue storm. I don't care though for space eco. I'm just going to keep my head straight and send grouped eco. Because if you do send space eco, it's just not efficient whatsoever for your eco. We want to make sure that we have a decent amount of eco using Cobra. So he used all of his glue storms. Every single one. Just so he could greed. Like I, I don't understand, man. <laughs> I really don't understand. It's just not worth it in the end because now he's going to have to build up a shit ton of defenses because he's already chased into the blues that we are sending him. He's leaking down quite a bit, actually. He's probably going to upgrade to that uh, lightning after we do start sending these greens. We'll see. Uh, so let's, of course, start to send some greens. He's going to be sending us some greens. Okay. All right. That was kind of expected. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to have to get up a tag shooter really quickly, which is going to be our uh, main source of popping power for now i know there's not too many good spots on this map but we should be pretty fine with these i want to set these boys too strong as well because he's going to be sending us some uh mixed eco as well uh so with those on strong we should be pretty good he's saying oops dude not a big deal whatsoever we did leak down to the 75 uh but i'm not sweating then i'm really not we got a decent amount of eco still as well we just did hit 500 so i'm very happy about that it looks like he's about to leak to this as well, unless he does upgrade. He's still, what? He's pressuring us. Why? Why are you pressuring us? I don't understand. Okay, so there he goes for that lighting upgrade as well. I didn't like really try to force it. I guess it's a good thing though, because he didn't put the money back into his farms. Here he comes with some yellows as well. So I'm probably just going to get up another two, three tax driver now, because yeah, it looks like he's going to be pretty aggressive. He's probably frustrated with how we've been equaling so hard at him, but hey, that's what you got to do with Cobra. So uh i don't know why he's doing this it's just not smart because he was just being so greedy with the farms early game and now he's just wasting all of his money on eco so not too sure why boys not too sure so our main source of popping power oh, shit we're gonna have to get up a freaking ring of fire boys 
We are, yeah, we, we're gonna have to. Shit, okay, so we're gonna get up this Ring of Fire uh, for our main source of lead popping power. It looks like that's gonna be a pretty good spot for us. Yeah, it is a pretty good spot. Awesome, awesome. So we're also gonna have to put a village over here as well. So I would usually start putting money, more money into my Cobras, but I just really can't because I need this camo detection. Definitely, there's no way around that. Uh, he has literally no defense on his side. So I was thinking about sending him a rush, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna do that, okay? I'm gonna get my Cobras up, I'm gonna be smart, and then we're gonna start a balloon adjustment him on round 16. He's not gonna be able to defend because he has like no freaking defenses. He's still coming at us with this freaking eco. Oh my God, dude. This is gonna be his downfall, boys, I'm telling you. What? I did not touch that. Oh my God, screw this game. I did not touch that, dude. That's bullshit. Oh my God, I was just trying to upgrade my Cobras, man. What? That is hella bullshit, dude. Okay, I seriously could force the easiest upgrade ever because he is just being so aggressive, dude. I'm probably just gonna send him some regular leads this next upcoming round because, actually, should we just start balloon adjusting now? Because he has no defenses, dude. And he's just still with this eco. Yeah, we're gonna start balloon adjusting a little bit early this time, boys. All right, so let's upgrade all of these to balloon adjustment. He's definitely not gonna be liking that. And he's most definitely gonna have to upgrade quick. He is gonna have to upgrade quick because his defenses are just garbage. So there he goes with the destroyer. We're gonna get up more balloon adjustments. It's gonna be really bad for him this round as well. There he goes, he sold a farm to get up that dragon breath as well. Uh, so he should be able to defend this for the most part, um, I'm thinking. And oh, he had to sell all of his farms. He only had two though, uh, to get up a second destroyer. So that did not look too good. That did not look too good. So of course, if he wants to send us a Moab, Unfortunately, we already did use one of our spike storms, but we still have one more, which is a good thing. I'm expecting one to be coming at us as well, so I guess I'm just gonna get up some zero zero attacks up here to help us pop them, okay? So this balloon adjustment is still on his side. He's gonna have to keep on putting money into uh, his defenses because our balloon adjustment is about to get freaking crazy, let me tell you boys. So I'm gonna continue with these Cobras if he's not gonna pressure me with anything, uh, because why not? Is he really sending me more eco? Why are you sending me more eco, bro? Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, so we're just gonna continue, boys. We're just gonna continue with the Cobras. I know some people, too, they like to start ecoing again with the Cobras, like after round 20, so we might have to do that as well. Uh, but currently, we have a lot of Cobras up. Like, a lot of freaking Cobras. He should start struggling to this AI here very, very soon. He does have two Dragon Breaths, though, and two Destroyers, so it looks like he's gonna be holding off uh, for the most part for now. He might be sending us a BFB here soon. If he does, we're gonna have to get up the misdirection, of course, uh, because that's literally probably the only way we're gonna be able to defend that. Um, so if, so we would definitely be on standby for that. If he wants to do that, uh, I'll get up a Cobra right here. No, what? What? Oh my God, I didn't even click it. I swear to you guys, I'm not clicking that. I did not click that, like 1,000%. I am shook. I'm shook at how the fuck? Oh my God. So there goes two of our spike storms down for fucking nothing, dude. Oh my goodness, man. Like what even, dude? That is such bullshit. Like honestly, boys, that is some horse shit, man. It looks like he's really struggling uh, to the balloon adjustment as well. There he goes with the boost. He's gonna be able to defend, it looks like, for the most part. And yes, indeed, he was able to. So he's gonna have to pull some fast here. If he wants to send us a ZOMG, I, I swear, dude, you better not send a ZOMG, okay? That's all I know. So I think I'm gonna send him a mob here as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's uh, turbo mob, two mobs in him. And I'm gonna hope that I can defend against this. Um, I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to boost that just in case. Wow, he defended that with ease. <laughs> oh, shit, no! Oh my God, I almost died. Oh, ho, ho, my God. I can't believe that. I freaking boosted it. Oh, my God. We're going to have to continue with this freaking eco, dude. Well, should I just all out him, dude, for real? I think I'm just going to all out this guy. Like, for real, it's just freaking ridiculous at this point. Let's just all out him, boys. There's no way he's going to be able to defend this. I do not see him defending this. We'll see how good his micro is, though. Uh, so, there he goes with the microing of uh, the boat pool, of course. I'm going to send some mobs over top as well. Uh, because he's gonna have to be able to defend against those. So hopefully, oh my God, his micro is godlike. What? Are you kidding me? 
Dude, what the fuck? How? How did he do that? Dude, I am, oh my god. I fucking randomized it against this guy. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, I guess I'm going against fucking the best player ever. Jesus Christ. What in the world, man? Oh my god. I just want to, I really just want to rematch him and just freaking try hard, man. So we are back with our next opponent, Certified Grinder. Uh, his record is really bad. Like, extremely bad, so... I don't know, dude. What the... Like, what? Bro, oh, I fucking randomized, man. And this guy, he just has not been doing anything. His farms were garbage. Like, I don't understand how. How? Literally, I sent you so many BFBs. Whatever, whatever. We're gonna be randomizing again. Okay, all right, Wizard, NG. We're probably gonna be using those towers a lot. I'm probably gonna be starting off with maybe even the Mortar as well. No, it looks like he's gonna be farming, so I'll just start off with the NG, okay? I'm gonna be starting off with the NG, of course. We don't want to be anti-stalling, so we wanna put our tower like kind of back here so it's still able to reach those reds somewhat soon, I guess, because uh, we don't want to chase super hard. Uh, so there he goes, he's going DFA probably. <laughs> oh my God, bro. His record wasn't that good though, so I'm hoping he's not too good. I, just, I can't believe that last game. I cannot believe. I wasn't really paying attention to like how efficiently he was microing that, but like, dude, I looked over and all the BFBs were gone. I'm like, bruh, uh, I am in shock. <laughs> I am in freaking shock, boys. But we're just gonna move on. We randomized, not a big deal whatsoever. So he's gonna be sending us some reds. We're gonna have to get up the nine inch nails. I'm also gonna put this on last because uh, we want to focus on the majority of the balloons. If we have it on first, then our NG is going to start chasing really, really bad, and that's just not going to be a good thing. Let's also get up the sentry gun, uh, because it looks like a couple of balloons are getting, or sneaking past that it is, and he might be going for the next farm. I wouldn't be surprised if he was going to. Yep. Okay, so there he goes for the next farm. So he might be leaking lives here. I'm not going to send any space pinks whatsoever, because I don't care to get off lives. It's not a big deal. Uh, right now for me and there he goes for the second triple dart so nicely done he did get it up but he didn't upgrade to the more bananas so he barely gained bananas from that farm he just built up uh, but our eco is looking pretty solid round four and we're at 360 he's not pressuring us whatsoever still which is a good thing ng is just such a good starting tower man he might come at us with some group greens on round six if he does no problem with that we can just get up another nine inch nails on another ng and we should be pretty good and this guy he's keeping up with his farms i'm not gonna lie there he goes for that third farm so things are looking pretty good for him of course he's gonna have to get up a spike a pull or another triple dart which i'm gonna guess he's gonna get up another triple dart but we'll see i guess and dude we're almost at 500 eco and it's only round six things are looking a freaking okay for us boys we're just gonna continue on with this, but of course we don't wanna die on round eight to yellows. Definitely don't want that to happen. Oh no, he doesn't have good powers. Rut row. Uh-oh, he only has spikes. Damn, why the hell did he even put those down? He didn't even need them, dude. All right, so we got 550 eco. I'm gonna eco one last time, max eco, 572. I'm completely fine with this. Things are looking good. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting yellows, but I mean, this guy's also kind of greedy, so he might not want to waste his money. Uh, but I'll just keep these current defenses and we'll just go on from there because I kind of want to tempt him to send us a rush. Uh, so, so far, he has yet to do anything. We're going to have to get up also our balloon trap because that's going to be really, really efficient for us because we're going to get a lot more money. And of course, money's always good, dude. Money's always good for this game. There's no doubt about that. So let's start. Uh, getting up our balloon trap. Let's get it ready. I'm gonna put it right about here. He might leak a couple of lives as well. I'm not really uh, sweating it though because we're still at 150. So if we leak a couple, not a big deal. And we're about to sell this as it cleans up all of these. There we go. Okay, let's sell. Oh, there we go. Cool. So things are looking great, boys. We're gonna have to. Oh shit! I forgot to send him a lead. That's my fault. That's my fault. So I'm gonna sell these sentries as well because we want as many balloons to go into our balloon trap as freaking possible, boys. So the sentry guns, they just pop balloons. <laughs> they kind of just get in the goddamn way. So he's not playing bad whatsoever. He has really great farms. He has three triple darts as well. So his, it's not like his defenders are bad. Um, we're just gonna get a zero zero wizard just in case if like anything happens, of course. And we should be space eco in here a little bit. And then after all the space eco is gone, I'll probably start to group eco uh, because we have two spike storms still. So we can greet a lot. 
and we also have a balloon trap so like dude i'm not sweating this whatsoever holy shit did he get up a lot of defenses oh my god this guy is the ultimate spolt spammer holy shit <laughs> holy that was a lot of freaking spolts my guy you did not need that many but hey i'm not complaining that's easy force of freaking defense man easy 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 so things are looking pretty good still 857 eco on round 14 i'm pretty happy with that there's no lot about that and we are collecting money from our balloon trap left and right oh here he comes with some zebras so hopefully we won't have to like upgrade or anything uh we did oh shit okay when it spike storm that uh i don't know how i feel about that boys i really don't i probably didn't need a spike storm but better safe than sorry better safe than sorry definitely he has just way too many defenses oh god oh god all right so should we just yeah let's just pop boost that because dude like there's no way we're gonna defend against that like oh god oh god oh my god what the fuck oh my god what even man are you serious holy shit oh and he's face palming me oh oh my god what the <laughs> dude i'm wrapping up the video right here i'm so annoyed what the hell dude for real oh my god random strategies and ceramic crucible was a failure indeed boys um uh, i'll just i'm just gonna do the shout out in the next video by the way i'm just gonna wrap it up here boys i hope you did enjoy that rage it's been your boy peace out everybody